Meet Takoro. Hi, I'm Takoro. I'm Japanese crazy boy. This is why Takoro says he is crazy. Takoro took dried roses, dipped them in gold, and sold them to boyfriends googling for girlfriend, present, expensive. That's how he made two hundred thousand dollars. Then he wanted to talk to machines, so he built a ring. With a swipe, the ring controls your apps just like that. It works. But Takoro couldn't talk to people because he couldn't speak English. In Taco Bell, it took me five minutes to order a water, a uh, water, a、uh, water. So he built a device to allow people like him to talk to people. お水が欲しいです。It's a device that translates on the spot. No internet, no app, just click. Takuro grew up knowing only Japanese. Yes. But instead of learning another language, he found a way to learn every language. That's crazy. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Es una minutos. Nos vemos mañana. Meet Jay. Hi, my name is Jay. And I had six religions. When Jay says all religions are the same, he means it because he tried a lot of them. He was born Catholic, then switched to Protestant, then explored Jehovah's Witness, Seventh Day Adventists, Latter Day Saints, and Taoism. But I passed on them. Then he joined Islam, prayed five times a day, and celebrated their holidays for two years. Then he stumbled upon Sikhism. It resonated well with me. So he became sick, and shortly after, he became Hindu. But that's not the end of it. Later on, Jay found Judaism, and now is exploring the idea of becoming Jewish. But when you ask Jay why are you switching so many religions, he'll say, "I'm not. All religions are like fingers pointing to the same moon." Except people, he says, spend too much time focusing on the fingers, but not the moon. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Meet Steph. Hi, my name is Steph, and I'm a makeup artist. Steph was supposed to start makeup school on Monday, but on Sunday she got in a car accident that left her paralyzed, both legs and hands. And when she left the hospital for the first time on Christmas, she got into another car accident. Then she got diagnosed with cancer, PTSD, and depression. Then she lost her brother. Did you catch all that? I hope you did catch it, because four years later on Monday, Steph went back to makeup school. Now she's a makeup artist who can drive a car by herself, put on clothes by herself, and even surf. But it's never easy. If she drops a makeup brush, getting it back is close to impossible. To get in a car, it takes her five minutes. And surfing using no hands or legs is hard. People call her an inspiration and a role model, but that was never her goal. All I'm trying to be is me. That's one minute. We'll see you tomorrow. Meet the Kanner family. Hi, we are Kanner family, and we live on a bus. Yes, here is how this family of three ended up living on this bus. Two years ago, they all moved to Israel from Singapore and realized that real estate here is expensive and boring. So they decided to build their own house from a bus. They have a TV, Wi-Fi router, fancy bathroom, kitchen, bed, air conditioning, hammock, storage, and even a washing machine. Everything is glued so it doesn't fall when they move. They have power from solar panels that she says can light up two full houses. They have a view of the ocean that is to die for, and they have full freedom to go live wherever they want, just like that. <laughs> All of this, she says, It's just like a great adventure. The Kanner family is living the life of the rich for 10% of the cost. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Meet little Picasso. Hi, I am Ruth Rodriguez, and I am eight years old. What you see in front of you is a cute kid from the Philippines who, at the age of four, was bullied at school. I hated it. He hated it so much he spent more and more time indoors painting. And by the age of seven, he was so smart he skipped two grades and became a master painter. He painted this, 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 and this. It's called where no man has gone before. And I did it in four days. And won six international competitions in one year. Every painting comes with its own meaning. This means making natives feel at home. This shows Earth missing the time it was clean. This stands for world peace. And this is just a frog. This eight-year-old kid went from being bullied to becoming the little Picasso of the Philippines. 
Let's continue to discover and inspire the world through art. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. You are the best.